This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Position a suitable container under the engine sump drain plug. Clean the area around the drain plug, then slacken and remove it. Allow the engine oil to drain. Clean the drain plug and renew the ceiling washer. Refit the drain plug and tighten it to the specified torque. The filter cartridge is located on the left hand side of the engine in front of the exhaust pipe. Slacken the filter using a strap wrench or filter removal tool. The filter can be extremely tight. Fully unscrew the filter and withdraw it. Be prepared for oil spillage. Use a clean rag to remove all oil, dirt and sludge from the filter sealing area on the engine. Check the old filter to make sure that the rubber sealing ring hasn't stuck to the engine. If it has, carefully remove it. Lubricate the new filter sealing ring with clean engine oil. Then manoeuvre it into position and tighten it firmly by hand only. Do not use any tools. Wipe any spilled oil from the filter. Remove the container from beneath the vehicle. Clean the area around the centrifuge filter. Undo the two bolts and remove the filter cover. Lift the centrifuge rotor from the housing and discard it. Wipe clean the filter cover and discard the old ceiling ring. Locate the new rotor in the housing. Fit a new ceiling ring to the cover. Then lubricate it with clean engine oil.
Maneuver the cover into position. Then securely tighten the retaining bolts. Mop up any spilled oil. Release the clip, remove the access flap and unscrew the filler cover from the top of the engine. Withdraw the oil level dipstick and wipe it clean. Using a funnel to reduce spillage, add the correct grade and quantity of engine oil. until the level is up to the full mark on the dipstick. Check the level on the dipstick frequently. Do not overfill. When the level is correct, refit the dipstick, tighten the oil filler cap, and refit the flap in the engine cover.